Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Chad Leonberg here, real estate agent, team owner, and digital marketer. And today I wanna to talk to you about a real, a real and future conversion rates. So really, this is crucial in getting clarity into the different lead sources that you have. The belief to push forward longer than you, you know, I think, I think in real estate there's a very slow gratification process. Even if you sell a deal, you know, you sell something, you get a deal the first month into the business, it's gonna take one, you know, 30 to 60 days to close. So with that longer period of gratification, you need belief to keep pushing further. And so we use this to really, I use this from, from out the get go to help me uh, push farther or, or see the value in a lead source uh, before the actual monetary value is there. Um, so what this is, so real conversion rate is really simple. If you have 100 leads and you've sold three, you have a 3% conversion rate, right? If you're making six grand per deal, that's an $18,000 real money over X amount of time, you know? So like I said, so three deals, six grand a deal, about 18 grand. Um, so let's say you've been selling for, I don't know, a year and you made 18 grand. It's not that, it's not that exciting, right? That, that might be you. If you divide 18 by 12, you're making a little over $1,000 a month. But here's what you need to do. Real conversion rate, three out of 100. You need to then look at your future conversion rate. Now we do this by putting our leads into buckets using the CAN system, the Client Active Nurture system. This system, basically just, we have different values at hot, cold, and coldest, or hot, warm, and cold, right? So our hot leads, our clients, we consider 100% of them to convert. Our active leads or our warm leads, right? They are, 25% of them will, will convert. And our nurture leads are, are probably thinking about the same rate as the regular the source would, which generally is about one to three percent, depending on the source. Uh, they could be better if it's sphere-based or local networking and stuff like that. So with this hot, warm, cold classification, we do have to constantly categorize our leads. So whenever they come in and we speak to them, we put them into one of three buckets, client, active, or nurture. And because of that, we actually built a sell out in our own system. I think I had seven different CRMs that I applied this CAN system, this client active nurture system into, and I just got sick of doing it. So ultimately we built our own tool. We have a free trial for it. It'll probably be somewhere down below. If you want to check that out, uh, sign up for the free trial. It's called the Cheat Code Connector uh, CRM and all-in-one marketing tool. So it's, it's, it's an awesome tool. It's what my team uses now. But anyway, what we did was we, we added the predictability from real and future conversion rate into it. So real, again, right? 6,000 per deal, three deals, we're at 18 grand. But future on those 100 leads, let's say we had five clients, 20 actives, and the rest were nurtures. Let's say we spoke to them all, which is rare, but let's just do it for this video. All right, so 100 leads, we've sold three. We've got five clients, all right? So real is three out of 100, 3%, but future, we're going to take those five, we're going to count them as a wholesale. So now we have eight out of a hundred for future conversion rate. And then we're going to take our, our actives and we're going to take those 20 and we're going to divide it by four because we figured 25% of them will work. So we should get five there as well. So we can add 10 to our original three. So three out of a hundred is the real conversion rate, but the future you add an additional 10. So it's actually 13 out of a hundred. So you can see right there, when I did it back when I started, it was just this percentage, that's all I focused on. So 3% real, 13% future. And I was like, okay, I'm getting there. I haven't hit my stride yet. But when you put money to this, this is how I've, when I've coached agents, I've had to put a dollar value to it. Otherwise they didn't believe the data, right? So when you put a number to it, right? And you, and you take, you know, your five clients, 6,000 times that, that's 30 grand in that pipeline. And you take your 20 actives, you pull that, you know, divide it by four, 25%, or divide it by 0.25, um, or multiply by that, whatever. Anyway, doing math today. I don't want my calculator in front of me, you know, that's just what it is. <laughs> but anyway, if you do that math uh, on the 20 and you get that watered down, you're gonna have five there. So that's another 30 grand. So you've got 60 grand in the pipeline. And now obviously you still have to go through the motions to convert those leads. But the fact that you know there's 60 grand in the pipeline, you're not making 18 grand a year. You're on the pace of something a lot higher. So this is what we do to, to, to figure that out. Now, I'll give you an alternative side of things. Maybe you've been in the business a while and you start to classify your leads, like I'm telling you here today, or you go through our training, or you use our CRM and you do this, and you find that your conversion rate real, your real conversion rate is 8%, and your future conversion rate is nine, right? You're at your optimal level of conversion. 
you've been doing it long enough to see to, to get into the groove to find you know to you know to, to actually get it producing at a consistent level the problem the, the main so in that case it's not that you don't have belief you've done it long enough to have the belief now it's going to add clarity on who you should follow up with and when and all that good stuff but the belief side of it that's 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 where really where real and future conversion rate for a new agent is is crucial because it's going to give you that belief to push forward uh, cool so we know real and future conversion rate will help us basically have the belief to push further and also know if you're at your optimal conversion rate or not another thing this can do is when you compare it on multiple lead sources so you might have a lead source that you know you've converted five out of 20 and um, it's crushing it um, and you might have another lead source that you know your real conversion rates three out of 50 or three out of 100 or something real small like that. But when you take the future conversion rate, you might not have anything in the pipes out of that five out of 20. But the other one, you know, the, the three out of 50, you might have, uh, you know, an additional 15 leads that are client and active or, you know, that work out, that are potentially gonna work out. So when you do real versus future, you can start to see lead sources that are going to get better if you keep going through the motions. So. Like I said, it just it all it adds that predictability to 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 the business. It also tells you who to follow up with and when, and it really helps you have key uh, key performance indicators, KPIs, key performance indicators that will help you indicate which lead source might outperform another one. Obviously, now versus which which one's actually happening now, easy to see, versus which one might be better in the future, not as easy to see. So all of this is contingent on you constantly categorizing, categorizing your leads. So if you're not doing that, <laughs> that's kind of where you'll need to start. Um, but yeah, there's a, actually a free training I have. It's called 10 to 40 deals. Uh, you can find it somewhere below. It'll go over a lot of this and, and a couple other steps that I have to build and maintain a six-figure real estate business. So I'd love for you to go check that free training out below somewhere in the links here. And you can, you, you can um, see what you can implement in your business and hopefully gain some value from that. So uh, as always, if you could like and subscribe to the channel, that would be great. Let the algorithm do its thing. Um, but I appreciate you jumping on today. Like I always say, I scoured YouTube when I started in the business. So uh, hopefully this video provided value to you as a real estate agent and can help you. Hopefully it can help you get some clarity uh, in, in your real estate business sooner than it uh, or, or in less time than it took me. So anyways, thanks for jumping on today and we'll see you at the top.